How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today me and my buddy Colin we're uh, heading out to a little lake in Marquette where there is a there is a uh, local pike tournament. Um, it's biggest fish win so we're gonna come out here kind of rep the bobber shop a little bit see if we can get some pike through the ice. Um, don't know if there's gonna be a lot of guys out here or not but just gonna have some fun and hopefully catch some fish while we're doing it. So seriously? Really? Yeah. Alright guys, a little update for you. Basically the way we're the way we're fishing these pike right now, I just have five tip ups set up and uh, just either have a decent sized sucker minnow on there. Usually they're about five, six inches. Or we do have one big one that's probably seven or eight inches that we got out there. And then just in the shack here we have a hole and I'm just kind of dead sticking a golden shiner. We just, uh, as you saw, we just had one flag go up finally after a couple hours of sitting here, but we couldn't, couldn't figure it out. So there's a guy right in front of us that just, he just had a flag go up. So we'll, we'll creep on this guy. Oh well, there probably, since we've been out here, there's probably been, I don't know, I'd say five or six fish that we've seen getting pulled through the ice. Maybe one decent one over 24, but other than that, they've all been really small. But there's a crap load of people out here and a lot of bait and a lot of tip ups. So the fish are definitely not hurting for for a food food source. I'll just keep sitting tight here and hopefully one of our flags go off. Alright, checking in again. It's about 2.30. Uh, haven't really caught much of anything, which is kind of depressing besides that largemouth that Colin caught. Jigging, and then he uh, missed that one on the tip up, unfortunately. So, I, uh, so the owner of the bobber shop that we work at. <laughs> um, so Chris and his dad Mark are over on the other side of this lake and they've hooked into a few fish. I got a few smaller pike, um, but nothing over like 22 inches. It's kind of, a, kind of a sucky day right now. It's just crazy how many people are out here and you'd think that there'd be a lot of fish that are being caught, but not, not the case. So. Colin's about had enough. It's kind of like fish taking. Don't, fish don't exist in this lake. It's kind of like taking a twelve-year-old everywhere you go. They just complain the whole time. <laughs> 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 
So we're gonna give it another half hour here till the the tournament, this pike tournament ends at three o'clock, technically. So we'll give it till three o'clock, and we'll probably start packing up because it's not worth being out here, just not catching any fish. So there's no point. We'll go back to go back to the house and let things let things thaw out, and I don't know, relax for the rest of the day. I might try and get out tomorrow and go to Gwyn, maybe one of the lakes down in Gwyn, and. See if we can't catch some pike and maybe some bluegills or perch, something like that. I'm just, for me, I'm just sick of not catching fish. It sucks. I've yet to catch a fish jigging or on a rod or anything. The only fish I've ever caught on the ice were on tip-ups. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm giving it a good try on this ice fishing thing, but it's really not, not really enjoying it that much. But. We're gonna keep giving it a try, see if we can't. <laughs> see if we can't make some more videos and actually catch some fish, so. Saw we uh, we got a fish on the ice, so that was good. But just a little tiny little pike threw him back. It's just me out here right now, and just got my three tip ups set out. Want me to catch some pike? Get some more fish in the freezer for for snacks and dinners for the semester. That's kind of my goal right now. And this wind looks bad. Sorry about the wind noise if there's any. Like I said, just got my tip-ups out, just kind of waiting for them. I've been out here for probably an hour and a half now. It's been pretty slow. But at least it's, I mean, a pretty beautiful day. Other than the wind. Mid-teens probably. This is kind of what I would call my element. Just being outdoors being outside. I hate the, I don't really like the term outdoors. Anyone can be outdoors. But I love being outside and away from, away from civilization and other people. Just kind of sit and think and look at God's country and all that it has to offer and also do a lot of reflecting on my own life and what I have to look forward to. Probably go check these tip-ups here shortly again. I've been checking them usually every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes. I don't know if I want to go deeper, if I want to come in shallower. I just, I don't know if I'm not setting my minnows right in the water column or, or what, but the, fi the one fish that I did get was it my flag went right after I reset the tip up. I went over and checked it, put it back down, and I wonder 
I wonder if I varied the depth where that minnow was at just enough to where where that fish happened to be so we'll go check these things out again and make a decision whether I want to come in a little shallower or go out a little farther so we'll see all right we got a flag up I just went around and switched all the bait out so we'll see what this flag brings here a little better pike. Keep that guy. There we go. It's not a bad one there. Pretty decent one. I'll fly that guy up. Alright, we just got another flag. Must be the time of day it's starting to sun start to set. Maybe these pike are starting to eat a little bit. So. I just got that other tip up set up. I got another another minnow on it and this one went off. So we'll see what we got here. Gotta go. Got it on the way down. That's funny. <laughs> That's crazy. I thought I felt a little tug on the way down. Uh, just a little guy. He was looking to eat. Oh, come here. There we go. Hardly even hooked. Oh, you nutsack. Get in there. Probably should get a new minnow on this guy now. Well, we got another flag. Just probably about, I just took a 15 minute sip. After I fixed that other tip up and got another flag. Furthest one out here. 
see what we got on this one. Like he got off, maybe. Yeah. Huh. Shoot. All right. Well, that same tip off just went off, so I don't know what's going on. That minnow on there is not very liable, so I don't think that minnow could tip the tip up. So, you gotta be something on there. Just gotta figure out how to hook it, I guess. Nothing. Oh, maybe. No, there's no way. for a sec, see what happens. This could just be hitting the minnow and then spitting it right back out, but we'll see. A little one, good eater. Well, it's been a decent day out here. I think we're gonna call it a day. I'm gonna collect my tip ups and probably get out of here. Got a decent walk back to the truck. I have a snowmobile, but I don't have a sled or I don't have a uh, I don't have a trailer or a ramp or anything to get it out, get it out of my truck easy or put it back in easy. So I need more than one person. I can't do it by myself. So we got a pretty decent walk on the way back. Just gonna wrap things up here. Pretty decent day, caught uh, probably six or seven fish. Gonna take home two of them, fillet them up, and put them in the freezer, so. Uh, see you guys.